Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we are going to learn how to use fillets and its types and how to use chamfering command in the SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. So uh, in the feature tab, you, uh, you can see that there is a fillet which create a round internal or external fillet face along one or more edges on a solid or surface feature. So we will make some solid body to understand the chamfering and fillet command. Make the scare. Now you can see that our fillet command is on. By pressing this arrow, you can see that there is a chamfer command. So first of all, we will study about the fillet. First of all, the type of fillet is constant size fillet. To see the constant size fillet, select this edge and you can see that it has made this edge round. And from here, you can give the radius of the fillet you want, like this. Press OK. So now you can see that you have made the sharp curve, sharp edge round very easily. So now from here again go to fillet and from here you can select the radius. From here you can select the type of profile like I will select this edge and now I am going to select conic row and you can see that our profile has been changed. It is round from here and it is like jumping from here. And we can select conic radius. We can select any type you want. Now we will see what is variable size fillet. For that, select variable size fillet. And you can see that there is a table of variable radius parameters. So you can see two tables. One is this and other is this with variable radius. So if we will change the radius like this, 0.5 centimeter. So you can see that our variable radius from this point is 2 centimeter and from here it is 0.5 centimeter. So you can easily change the radius at the points you want. Like I want to change the radius from this point, we will select this and we will give the values like we want to give it 20% uh, of 0.5 centimeter so you can see that our fillet is ready you can do this with point select this and give it the value if it is saying set uh, uh, if it is saying unassigned you will select set unassigned from here and it will give the value. I will give 1 centimeter and it is 25% select OK. Now you can see how easily we have used the variable fillet to make this shape. Again go to fillet. Now our next is face fillet. What face fillet is do that you have to select two faces and the fillet is automatically made between these two faces you can change the radius of the fillet from here and the profile from here so this was our face fillet now we will see what is full round fillet select select fillet again go to this now it is saying that select the side face one side face is this and from here you will select the center face and from here you will select the other side face so you can see that it is making automatically automatically select ok and now our full round fillet has been made so these were our fillets command 
you can use any type of fillet depending on your geometry so now we will see what is chamfering for that go to chamfer command so our first chamfer type is angle distance so again we will select some edge on which we want to make the chamfer from here on the table you can see that there are two commands one is, the, one is of distance and another is of angle so from here you can adjust the angle and from here you can adjust the distance from this edge to this yellow line so this was our chamfer command and this type is known as angle distance chamfering command so now we will see the other type of chamfering this is distance distance chamfering command for that we will select this and select this now you can see that there is only one distance 3 cm there is no angle if we will give 4 cm it will automatically adjust it the distance from this yellow uh, yellow line to this blue line select ok and now this one is our distance distance chamfering command now again go to chamfer and we will see what is vertex so vertex is mostly used to make the complex chamfer and make the triangular chamfer, chamfer from this you can adjust the distance from this table you can adjust uh, any distance there are three distance and three vertex you can see that so you can adjust any distance from here according to your geometry like I am adjusting five. press ok and you can see that you can make this shape or geometry easily now we will see our second last command of temper for that we will select the offset face offset face mean that how much is the distance from this face to this chamfer so we have selected 4 cm you can adjust this accordingly this is our face chamfer command offset face chamfer command so our next command is face to face like the fillet command face to face command is same select this one face and this face and it will make the chamfer accordingly just select the face you want like this so this was our chamfer command these were the type of chamfering and fillet commands you can use so thank you for watching and keep supporting and keep sharing our video